Hi, my name is Scott. I'm from the Economics Tutoring Center, and today we're going to be doing an example of reading a monopoly diagram. So make sure to check my language and notation use with your professor because it may vary. So here's our graph. Uh, we have, as usual, we have quantity on the x-axis, price on the y-axis, and we have a few different curves in here. So the first one to note is the demand curve, and Below it, we have the marginal revenue curve. So if you look at these two things, you know that this firm is not in a perfectly competitive industry because one, it's facing a downward sloping demand curve, and two, the marginal revenue curve is below the demand curve. That's a consequence of the downward sloping demand curve. So this is either most likely a monopoly or maybe a firm in monopolistic competition. And then we have, we also have our marginal cost curve, so this is what it typically looks like. And we have our average total cost curve that uh, the marginal cost goes through the bottom of the average total cost. So we just want to look at this graph today and ask ourselves, what can we figure out about this firm and what it will produce and what, it, what its profit will be, et cetera. So, the key thing to remember um, with any, any problem, it doesn't matter if the firm's perfectly competitive, if it's a monopoly or what, but to maximize profits, a firm will produce where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So this is really important to remember. And if we look at this graph, so marginal revenue is this one, marginal cost is this one, they intersect right here. So this quantity where marginal revenue equals marginal cost is either the profit maximizing quantity or if the firm is operating at a loss it's the loss minimizing quantity. And either way they're getting the most money they can. Um, but then so we have our quantity you might ask yourself well what price are they going to charge? And you might just want to go across from this dot and trace it over the price axis, but um, when a firm is a monopoly or it's in monopolistic competition, because of this downward sloping demand curve, they can, they can raise the price. So the demand curve tells you what consumers are willing to pay for a certain quantity. So this firm could actually go all the way up to the demand curve and that is the price they're going to charge. Um, so now we have our profit maximizing or loss minimizing quantity and price. Um, the other thing you need to be careful about in problems like these is that sometimes the firm will choose not to produce at all. And they do that when If price is below their average variable cost, then we, we usually call that the shutdown decision or something like that. It just means that it would be better for the firm to produce nothing at all and only pay their fixed costs. So in this particular problem, uh, we don't have the average variable cost or we don't have any fixed costs depicted on this graph, so we can't tell. Um, but we're going to assume that price is greater than or equal to average variable cost so that they will produce. Um, and if they do that, they're producing this quantity, selling it at this price. Uh, so now we know how much, now that we know how much they're going to produce, we might want to know how much money they will make or lose, what's their, their profit or loss. And if you remember, so profit, profit equals revenue minus cost always. So revenue is just price times quantity. So on this graph, it would look, it would be this, this square here because they're producing this quantity at this price. And then to subtract their costs, you could take 
at that quantity, their average total cost is up here because that's the average total cost curve. So their total cost is that entire bigger rectangle. Um, so it looks kind of confusing here, but if you subtract the revenue minus cost, what you're left with is this, this smaller rectangle up here. And then, so that's either their profit or their loss. The way to tell which it is, is that um, because their average total cost is above the price they're selling it for, they're losing money with each, um, with each unit they produce. It costs them more than they can sell it for. Um, and because they're doing that for this many units, their loss is this entire rectangle. Um, and it may seem confusing why the firm would produce when they're losing money, but remember, as long as they're covering, covering their variable costs, it makes more sense to lose money than to shut down. And that's why we, that's why we have this condition for a shutdown decision. Um, but basically, this is how you could read a, a graph for a monopoly or mono, monopolistic competition. So if we want to know maybe we have numbers in this example, we want to know the actual dollar value of their loss, we could just try some numbers. So let's say the profit maximizing quantity is 100, and I'm just making these numbers up. Their profit maximizing price is 3, and at that quantity their average total cost is 4. So this is average total cost. So their revenue is price times quantity, and that would be 3 times 100, um, and then their cost, their cost is their average total cost times the quantity produced, so 4 times 100 is 400, and then you do 300 minus 400, that gives you profit of negative 100, or you could just say a loss of 100. So that's how you would calculate it with actual numbers. So that's our example today for monopoly or monopolistic competition um, and what you can tell from the diagram. I hope it helped and if you have any more questions uh, come into the tutoring center or ask your professor.